Welcome back to Storytime. Hi, it's Pastor Lori, pastor from the Fairton and Newport United Methodist Churches. I've got another story for us. We're still working on this book. We're almost done. Courageous World Changers. This week, Betty Olson. Betty Olson. She, she has a book. She was a missionary martyr. She, as a daughter of American missionaries serving in Africa, Betty's childhood was often lonely and unhappy. Her mother died when she was a teenager, and Betty resented her father's second marriage. That happens a lot. After studying nursing in the United States, she returned to Africa. Betty was so difficult to get along with, the missionaries asked her to leave. Whoops. You ever have a past? Well, this chick had a past. At age 29, Betty felt bitter, suicidal. A Chicago youth minister helped her deal with her feelings by studying the Bible. Refreshed, she eagerly joined a mission team in Vietnam, ministering to lepers. Wow. Okay. Friends and family expressed concern about Betty serving Vietnam, where American troops were engaged in a war. Remember that? War? Communist Viet Cong troops. I am very much at peace, she assured them. I know that I may never come back, but I know that I am in the center of the Lord's will, and Vietnam is the place for me. In 1969, the Viet Cong attacked the missionary compound, killing several members of the team. Betty and other captives endured humiliation and torture. They marched long hours through the steamy, infested jungle and survived on meager rice rations. They suffered from fevers and blood-sucking leeches. Betty used her nursing skills to help her friends, but after eight months of illness and deprivation, she died. The one missionary who survived the ordeal returned to the United States and shared how Betty had saved his life, demonstrating Christ's love even to those who abused her. That is the life of Betty Olson. Wow. Now see, some people would say, um, what kind of life did she leave? She gave of herself and she turned her life around. She was bitter and she met Christ and that changed her life. So that's a great story to know. Let's pray. Lord, we wanna thank you for all these examples of great women of faith or just women of faith that live out their faith and our Jesus to their corner of the world. And so we thank you for their inspiration. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, thanks for tuning in. Love you guys. Be good. Bye.